Joe Bomb 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 Back, back, back with a vengeance. KG's back with an entrance. Big up to those in attendance. Ooh, Reds come together like Tetris. No rules, this one's reckless. KG, this one's crazy. You're too reckless. None can compare with the KG done. Better take cover when he drops that. Bon, bon, Going on bon. reckless, trust it's on. It's that time when he drops that. Bon, bon. I said drop a bomb, Dad. Yo, 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 what's going on, man? How you doing? Good morning, my reckless station. Good morning, my reckless delegation. Good morning. It's your boy KG, man. It's hitting you with a pre record this morning. I apologize, but I had to. I must and I needed to. Anyway, don't get it twisted because I always forget this, man. Joe Blackman is here. I'm going to holler at him and say, Yo, Joe, shh, I need you to run the show. But yeah, listen, people, let's talk about what Man United must do, the things that we must do, how we must, like, what is the keys to the future? What is the keys to being successful and being great again? And I'm not going to lie to you, people. I know you probably have already worked it out. We must build around Kobe Mainu. Now, that sounds so light and easy and simple. But again, that is the foundational piece. You see the performance against England. You see the performance against Netherlands yesterday. It's a gen. This is a generational star. I know we was talking about players. I remember Sir Jim talked about, do we have any players that are worth over 100 million? Guess what? There's one right there. There's one right there in the name of Kobe Mainu. You're seeing the performances. You're seeing the ability. You're seeing what he can offer to Man United. And he's the truth. That's it. He's the truth. He cannot be denied. His ability, his skill, his like, you know, I didn't want to be too excited about Kobe and get too gassed because, as I said, I spoke to my brother yesterday. We've done this with Yanazai. We've done this with talents before who we thought was going to live up to the live up to the grade and then they kind of fell off. The reason why I feel this is different is it's the temperament of the of the player. It's the it's the what's around the player in terms of the family and stuff. You can tell that this kid is coming from a like a strong home, a strong upbringing. So he's not phased. He's not phased by things. And Man United, to really be successful, that is a linchpin. That is the piece that, you know, kind of like now, I think Ten Hag can be happy knowing, well, I didn't get Frankie De Jong, but I have a different type of De Jong at home. I have a different kind of guy that can progress the ball, but hey, he can really be the six or the eight. There's, there's so many different positions he can do, but I'd like to see him a bit further forward because, as you can see, in all these games and stuff, he does have an eye for goal, wants to score a lot more goals next season. Told us he used to be a striker, played futsal. You're seeing someone that's very press resistant, like comfortable getting the ball off the back four and moving it forward. But guess what? I want to move his position a bit, moving forward. And this is when we talk about what Man United must do. I'm um, because I had a great, great conversation with my brother about the next phase of this club, the next phase of Man United. Because I believe Man United could be back, could be back in the terms of the types of signings they do. This is what they must do. A number, number one year, we must bring in Matthias Dillon. We must. I've listened to Hatchard speak about him with the interview that um, Flex did on um on united view fantastic interview what he breaks down of this play i was like wow then i listened to i was watching straight for paddock and i heard them talking to florian plettenberg and i was like the way he was describing the lit and his leadership his his all-round game on the pitches his the fact that you know he, he, he's gonna put in big performances he wants to he wants he's got something to prove he wants man united Man United will have a, a sense of solidarity, will be solid. You imagine now, Onana, next to um, next to Delit, next to Lissandro Martinez. It's the right amount. It's the right amount. Now, Euro would take it over the top. Euro would be a phenomenal signing along with these, along with these players. But again, let's say we don't get Euro. Delit, we still need to go and find another centre back. I definitely feel that. But Delit Lissandro? 
my goodness, you go forward. If we can bring in Agate, this is the next thing that Man United, I believe we need to do. Not players that, again, there's players that we've gone through for the names. There's players that we've gone through for the hype of this, that, and the other. Ugarte is something completely different. Yes, this team got knocked out um, of the copper. You know, that happened. It was mad scenes. But what he will be able to offer us, and if we can pick him up and loan with obligation to buy, even better. Save some money, able to fill other holes in the squad. But then you have a stronger Garte. Then in front of him, you have a Kobe Mainu. Kobe again will rest. Kobe won't play him all the games. But I would imagine this is where you say the Mason Mount thing and Kobe and Mason Mount really sharing that position. I don't know what the plan is for Mount really, but he must. There must be a plan. He's wearing the number seven shirt. I'll speak of more on that later in the video. Again, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Subscribe, people. Now you move forward. Bruno Fernandez. Bruno Fernandez, Kobe, we haven't seen how great that can be, but we know it can be great. We know it can be very, very, very special, especially when you say you don't have to worry about, yes, you'll get back and help out, double pivot at times, but your thing is we're on the creating and looking after the ball and progressing the ball into the, into the uh, more attacking players sit in that thing there you move forward it's rasmus hoyland if not rasmus hoyland it's xerxes but then rasmus you know what he's you know what he's gonna do first season scored as many goals as his second his first season which is like i know people are really i don't know where people's mindsets are with a player like rasmus hoyland but one thing we know tireless running never gives up wants to fight wants to battle if man united are more strong um, if the structure is stronger at the back where you're not really facing 15 to 20 shots a game, I'm telling you now, the, the creative players that are less worried, they know this is what we do. We suffocate teams. We take them out and that's what we will do. If we're winning the ball early, defense is defending. You've got Onana like, being secure and playing out from the back. All of a sudden, the, em the emphasis is like, you know what? Instead of... because. It's been a struggle inside and a team devoid of confidence. So it's harder to look good. It's harder to, there's no, there's no stability to build forward and look like a, look like a dangerous squad. All of a sudden, the stars, the alignment is changing because now these players get to focus on their attacking side of football, their attacking side of the game, which will make us incredibly dangerous. Now, because I mentioned that solid spine, if we get it, this is what the club must do. But De Ligt, Lissandro, Onana, we keep getting forward. We have potentially, I hope the club does it, Ugarte or a player like Ugarte, I don't know who that is going to be, but I do hope it's him looking at what we've seen and how he's been spoken about and spoken up. Incredible. Then you say Kobe. Then you say Bruno. Again, super creator. Rasmus Hoyland. And then after you start to sprinkle, the cake is the cake has been made. Now it's toppings and mad stuff that you just want to add to it just for the sake of it. And that's things like uh, Ahmad, breakout season. Breakout. Hopefully he lets us know, you know what? It's my time now. On the other side, on the left-hand side, Rashford, let's not forget, we got young Garnacho pushing, for, making sure Rashford says, hey, you, you can't sleep easy, bro. I'm right here. I'm on your heels. I've scored. I've scored big goals. I've scored in the final, bro. I can't be denied. Again, on the, um, on the right-hand side, I'm not giving up my total stocks in Anthony. I'm not giving up totally. I'm going to, um, let's see if we can't get anyone in, to be honest, but I feel we've got to do things in other places like left back and stuff that I'm not giving up totally on Anthony. I think settled squad, settled squad, there might be a surprise. There might be a surprise. Him relaxed, him in, obviously I'm at the number one, but Anthony pushing, pushing. Now people will say this is the moment when we know that KG in this moment right now. Y'all smoking crack! But again, a settled squad and a team that is not just focused on defending and doing all these mad stuff that we have been doing and just allowing a player to express himself and play his game and enjoy his football without the solid desperation is a different type of thing. Man United played desperate, lethargic, terrible football last season. Under pressure, 
always been we've been bested by teams that we should not have been bested by um than you know like we we just we were weak we were weak you know there's that always that moment when i think teams looking at us and saying man and i this team don't want it i want to compete and with these kind of act with these kind of personalities and characters you will see that again i left out xerxes potentially what he will bring Ten Hag loves having options off the bench. Ten Hag has been somebody that has, I mean, in his first season, he I think he got the most amount of points from the subs bench. He was able to change things up. Ten Hag can find different ways of playing, different ways of approaching a game. And knowing that players are getting tired, you can bring on a Xerxes, or you can bring on an Erasmus, or you can bring on the um, the speed of a Ganacho, or these type of trickery players, and literally change the shape, make us like focused i love the interview that ten hark had oh, my hay fever's kicking in i love the video ten hark had when he spoke about he made this amazing point um i'll make sure i'm on to point he made this amazing point about you know the team and the feeling in the in the camp and one of the big things he said is there's not a lot of time we have to move fast we have a final against man city i was thinking bro Man's talking about the charity shield as if it's... But in his head, he's like, no, like, again, back to the standards of good is not good enough. And he's seeing this as, this is an important game. He's seeing this as, yes, I hear it's the, um, the current opener, but the player's getting used to this motion. We always talk about the motion of lifting a trophy. That is an important motion. That is an important thing for the players to know. We go to Wembley and we climb up them steps. We go to Wembley and we do bits. This is the, I think this is the significant difference that Ten Hag wants to bring to the squad. But I, the hungriness, the hungriness across the t across the team. If you're not doing well, Tyrone Malassia's in. If um, if I don't know if if we ain't getting enough from the centre backs, potentially you're. I don't know. I I keep my fingers crossed for that. But then there's players that are knocking on the door saying, "Start me." That's what I want in so many positions. Amrabizi, I know the Ugarte things there, but I know Amrabat, we're still questioning, Ra, do we bring in Amrabat? These are the, I want this. I want Xerxes and Rasmus Hoyland, while they're working together, to be pushing each other to say, well, I've got a score because he's going to drop me and he's going to play. I need that. Now, football, there's so many fixtures. They're changing up to how the Europa is done. So there's games. There's enough games for everyone. But, it needs to be people really challenging for the shirt. Anyway, you lot let me know what you think. The last reckless thing that I have to say, um, I honestly feel like Kobe Mainu should be wearing a seven shirt. I've said this a few times, but I feel strongly about this one. Yes, I know Mason Mount ain't going to give it up, but we talk about when we think of our best uh, best 11, when it's built, well, where does May, um, Mount feature? I feel like the number seven should always be on the pitch. It's a legendary shirt for Man United. Yes, people will point and say, oh man, the number seven shirt is for wingers. Robson, Cantona. And well, I'm not going to try and say Cavani because he was calling it, but it wasn't. My thing about why I feel Kobe could easily wear the seven is he's not bothered. The kid is not bothered. I've never seen a more relaxed, calm. I, the, 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 I saw this thing, cashier wanted 18, 20 years experience. Kobe Mainu. The man's moving as if he's played the game. I played the game. He's giving me, I played the game energy. Like, that's, that's, how, he's, that's how he's coming at it. Because it's like, bro, like, how are you playing with this level of maturity? You could give him the number. Just imagine, you could bring Kobe into a meeting and say, hey, Kobe, want to give you the number seven shirt? And he'd be like, yeah, all right, no problems. Anything else? All right, see you later. Um, just got a final to quickly prepare for. He's not bothered. Really, like, like that's not, you're going to think, oh, my God, the weight of the shirt. Not thinking about it. And I, again, I would just like to see the number seven on the pitch consistently. It's a special number. And that's a special generational talent. It fits. It fits him. He's not going to be too gassed. He's not going to be... It will not change his performances. All it will be is 
the number seven shirt is being worn by someone that is worthy. This kid is a game away from winning the Euros. One game away from winning the Euros, but being a significant, the youngest, your youngest player to start for England in the semi-final. What are we talking about right now? Now we're going to say the youngest player for England to start in the final. What? He's doing 90 minutes. He's winning all his jewels. Handling, bro, the, come on, man. He's doing, he's doing his job. Big chances created. The guy's mad. Anyway, um, I don't want to get too gassed, but I feel, I feel good about saying that. Again, Mason has got it all to prove. I'm not going to play them too off against each other. We're lucky to have both. I hope Mason is, I hope this is the breakout season for Mason. But yeah, I think Kobe should wear that shirt, but psh, who am I? <laughs> Just a reckless United fan. Anyway, you lot, stay blessed. I'm out of here. Drop a bomb, 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 bomb. Back, back, back with a vengeance. KG's back with an entrance. We got to those in attendance. Who reckon it? Reds come together like Tetris. No rules, this one's reckless. KG, this one's crazy. You're too reckless. None can compare with the KG done. Better take cover when he drops that. Bomb, bomb, Going on bomb. reckless, trust it's on. It's that time when he drops that. Bomb, bomb. Bomb, bomb. I said drop a bomb, Dad.